In a report dated 10th of June 2019, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, and its Integrated Rush, uh, Resource and Resilience Planning Project provided an analysis of the status of Osage Full Power Badge. After performing a technical audit on the badge, USAID in its report recommended that it was not commercially viable to return the badge to service as the cost of refurbishment would likely far exceed the cost of purchasing a new badge. GMPC received a proposal through the Ministry of Energy from Safo and Stephen Company, dated 2nd, 20, 2nd March 2021. GMPC subsequently received an expression of interest to decommission the badge through the Ministry of Energy from Mishak Limited, dated 2nd March 2022. In this letter, the Minister directed GMPC to engage Mishak Company Limited to decommission the badge and informed GMPC that MISAC proposed to give 60% of the revenue from the sale of the scrap to GMPC and retain 40%. Upon receipt of these letters, GMPC visited the badge site, immediate communities and key government agencies, including the municipal chief executive and the police, on 7th April 2022 to ascertain the condition of the badge. From the interaction with the community, chiefs, MCE, and police, it was discovered that Mishak had already connect, uh, commenced the removal of some parts of the badge and other metals without proper recourse to GMPC. The GMPC team then engaged the MCE and the police and requested that further dismantling of, of parts of the, uh, the badge should be prevented until a disposal pro process is concluded in line with the Public Procurement Authority guidelines for the disposal of goods. GMPC subsequently wrote to the Ministry in May 2022 to inform uh, the Ministry that immediate steps will be taken to decommission the searchable badge in accordance with Section 83 and 84 of um, Act 663, that is the Disposal of States, Vehicles, Plants and Equipment Act. In line with the Public Procurement Authority guidelines, as mentioned above, GMPC constituted a board of survey to physically inspect the badge and recommend best disposal option. On the 9th of February 2023, the board of survey team visited the badge site and provided a status update in a report dated 28th March 2023. The team observed that about 90% of the OPD of the badge was dismantled. Through interactions with the local community, it is believed that Mishak Limited carried out the dismantling of the badge without engaging GMPC to formalize an arrangement or an agreement as directed by the Minister of Energy. Consequently, the Ministry of Energy has prevailed on GMPC to continue with the steps as outlined in the Public Procurement Authority guidelines for the disposal of the goods to establish the value of the scrap material, and secondly, to engage Mishak Limited to formalize an agreement to share the revenue from the scrap metal business. Mm -hmm.